Good morning, folks. No major watches, no major quaking, although that is above average for Nicaragua. Interesting article here, especially if you are electric universe minded, discussing the biologic version of microbial electrical wiring. Latest drought look. Yeah, that's a made up word. Many areas getting worse, a few getting better in the green, with the southwest getting the worst of it. This is the National Weather Service and NOAA's UV charts, and I will make mention of Miami and the surrounding South Florida areas. This is dangerous exposure. New Zealand drought mitigation in Northern Australia monsooning. Not much will change through tomorrow as another line of rain heads for the Shire. The central part of the North Atlantic low is finally creeping to the UK. You can see it's spinning up the coastline here. Let's take a quick look around at some of the Euro watch zones. Currently none in Ireland or the UK, by the way. The low of focus in the Pacific for days has finally crested the coastline after weakening significantly, and the next low is on its way right behind him. Pop-up storming in the Gulf states may continue today as the convergence swings up the eastern states and might intensify tonight at the tail with severe weather in the south central and Gulf states. Taking a quick six-month look at the Gulf Stream. Solar wind speed and temperature, the yellow and green falling slightly as the intensity of the solar wind fades. No geomagnetic indicators or energetic flux at the moment. The umbral fields did a neat dip, tilt and disappear on the backside yesterday. Bottom left the green coronal opening gets much bigger as it happens. Flattened out, the vanishing act looked like this. Now veteran observers are getting a bit nervous because they remember the last time that happened. You can see it here. I'm going to play it through again with the dates up top. This coincided with the first major uptick watch of the year, the largest actual uptick of the year so far and the first eight pointer we had in months. The sunspot is a beast, but it is not flaring. I'll take a moment to highly recommend you watch a video of mine called The Next Mini Ice Age as it is intimately related. Here's a good shot of that active region headed in. Now swinging in here you see some bright but tiny active regions, some thin dark plasma filaments, but also a large dark coronal hole. We will likely see this or the previously indicated growing southern opening we viewed in green on the umbral field diagram. I'll leave you with 171 and 193 angstroms, followed by a beautiful erupting filament in 304. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.